Hey there, a huge thank you to all the names on screen right now. The Renegades who click the join button down below and contribute to the channel financially. Hugely appreciate that, my friends. If you do enjoy the content, we also stream live at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together, but you can always smash that like button, subscribe and ring that bell to help support the content grow even further. Enjoy the show, my friends. The fuck have we got here? And uh, welcome back to Night I'm Suffer of Let's Suffer Together back in the mountains, my friends. And today, as you may be aware from the title, from the new playlist, we're starting a new fresh adventure. Now, there has been one time previously where we took it upon ourselves to adventure and to say to the cauldron, one of Noita's last remaining enduring mysteries that we can't figure out. We decided to build a sun, launch the sun all the way from the sky down into the cauldron to destroy it. But I think it's time for part two now. I think we have to build both suns above and below and supernova the cauldron. We are currently over at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together doing many a good science on the cauldron. We are at the moment kind of refining... How to even start a process like this, you know? There's been, I'd say, quite a bit of work done towards the cauldron in terms of various runs attempted to try and figure it out. But what I haven't felt is a deep community kind of enduring, you know, presence and kind of, you know, mission towards solving it. And there's been no cohesive effort, in my opinion. So what I'm looking to do over the next days, weeks, months even is to slowly build up information, ideas, a team, a legendary team of everybody who can help me uncover this motherfucking mystery. Now, the cauldron itself you'll see in this video, but in the next few days we'll be putting out a cauldron video specifically so you'll know it. all the information I know about the cauldron because we don't know anything, really. We know a lot of speculation, and I can't wait to get into that with you. But in this mystery uh, video, this isn't really a mystery because it's titled exactly what we're going to do and play things. We're going to co combine and collide the regular sun, the dark sun, which will create a supernova. And we're going to do that at the cauldron. We are running a completely fresh save file. Zero secrets found, you know, and all good stuff. Now, I technically want to do this with as minimal impact on the world as possible. Because I, like, again, I don't know if anyone's... Ow. I don't know if anyone has supernova the cauldron before. But this goes into talking about the science that has already been done for Noita. I haven't seen it. Again, there's a little kind of bit of secrecy behind it, you know? And there is actual real reasons for that. In-game lore reasons why you might not want to share information. Again, on one of the tablets, it's talking about how... You should not initiate uninitiated beings into alchemy. Meaning, when it comes to the cauldron, by the law of the game, you shouldn't talk. It's like Fight Club, you know, you shouldn't talk about it. But, we are here on the internet in 2022. And it is my time now to stand up and to tell everybody to fuck off. I'm doing it my way. You know, if you don't like it, well, suck a dick, basically. But no, I've got much respect for the devs and what they've done, but... Here's the thing. If we play it the way they, you know, perhaps suggest we should, with, you know, not initiating uninitiated peoples, 
We'll never get this done. Never. Not in a million fucking years. If, you know, there is any sort of secrecy, any sort of non-information sharing, things are kind of in the background. There is a part of the Noita Discord which discusses secrets, but that's hidden away. You need, uh, you need to fucking apply for it or something like Fucking, you know, license to practice your uh, cauldron science, you know. Not a fan of that. So we are performing over at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together. Open source alchemy, my friends. When it comes to Noita, we shall not hide behind, you know, la layers of secrecy. We shall do everything we can. To bring all the information to you. Because this is the 21st fucking century, bro. We involve the scientific method. You know? No, I mean, but alchemy's cool and everything, but still. Now, starting a new save file. You always start out with water. You always start out with spark bolts and bombs. Now, we, with the entire, you know, as I was saying before, discussing exactly how to science in Noita and get to a level of information um, and scientific process that can hopefully lead to at least, if not successful results, at least, you know, we did it the right way and scientifically. So we've been looking how to start a save file. Now, because I've done the Amulet of Yendor, I've got 34 orbs and finished the game, got Peaceful World and yeah, beautiful. That gives you a red pixel, and if you've seen Fury Forge's latest video on the cauldron, it talks about how we cheated, and the game is basically branding us as cheaters for taking the amulet, since we used outside information to get it. And fair enough, it's mocking us, basically, as they often do, the devs. However, I'm gonna fuck them up, you know? I'm gonna organize... And this is, again, along with the cauldron video I'm going to do, a call to arms. At least a call for intrigue and a call for, you know, an attempt to do this the right way. Not out in, you know, secret. But in the front of everybody, in front of the world, so we can, you know, peer review our stuff. The problem with having all the cauldron science and the cauldron, you know, information behind a little secret bullshit thing. It really pisses me off, because, you know, the strongest point about science is being peer-reviewed, and that means peer-reviewed by anyone. I mean, normally your peers, like, which the cold, when it comes to Noita Cauldron, you know, place where they discuss these things, you know you're going to have some funky motherfuckers in there who know they're Noita. But again, sometimes it takes people looking outside the box. The real problem at the moment is that the community who deal with you know, the eyes are stuck. They are using a formula that they used a year ago, and it didn't produce results, really, and it's, you know, they're kind of stuck, but they're not evolving. They're not moving towards new and alternative ideas. And with the cauldron, cauldron's basically, you know, not been worked on really at all in any sort of committed way, so... Hey, Fury, you know, has always been on it. Whenever I'm talking about this stuff, I mean, one person can only do so much. Whenever I'm talking about, you know, the perhaps, not the illegitimate, but the, you know, failings in the Noita science. And I don't want to go too harsh on that because people have done good work, right? Um, I just don't feel like enough has been done scientifically because we had a problem. We had Amulet of Yendor. And when we destroyed our save file, the game would constantly give me one secret found and give me a fish in the Holy Mountain as to make me look like I had picked up an orb, even though it was a fresh save file. So that might have happened to quite a few people who are doing science, right? And how do we know... Like, maybe you need to do the secret on a fresh save file. As I've said a million times already to my streaming peoples, we can't assume that the devs won't lock you out of a secret because you did X, Y, or Z, you know? We have to assume... And start from a clean Petri dish, you know? We have to start with the idea of starting at the very beginning and working forward. We can't just start in the middle and then work side to side, you know? So we start at the most clean, fresh save file we can. And again, I'll be going into that side of it in the Cauldron video. 
about how to actually properly start a fresh save. Um, there's probably a few ways, but the one I found today cleared my fish, cleared my secret. Because I was starting to think that the actual beginning cutscene of the game that you were watching just then was a secret. Because every time I started up a new save file, I'd have one secret, and the only thing that happened was the cutscene. But not true. The cutscene is not a secret. Never was. Never will be. Um, but the game made it look like it was, so there's something fishy there. And we do need to, again, discuss as a community about... Oh, shit. Discuss the potential ramifications for it. If the game... I reckon the game would be willing to lock you out of Cauldron success if you had the 34, you know, pixel. You know, Amulet of Yendor necklace. Little extra one pixel on your necklace. Or there is the alternative, and this is the problem with the science of Noita, Cauldron, and Eyes. When I say Cauldron, I kind of mean both. You know, when I say, you know, just the last endearing mysteries. Um, of Noita in general. I mean, sometimes I'll be talking about them separately, sometimes I'll be talking about them at the same time. Yeah, you just have to kind of try and follow along. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best trick, yeah. Hey, we got good money. We didn't get good HP. Dude could have ended my entire career. Pretty sure he wanted to. 100 damage crit, baby. What is it? Worm pheromone. Interesting. Could get a bit of money for that, dude. Could indeed. So yeah, basically, in the next coming days, I'll be compiling all the information on a basic level to assist anyone who wants to join us. And it's just good and cool information regarding the game anyway, so... Swing and a miss. Just don't get hit. That'll be good. That'll be proper good. Whoa! Holy shit, that could have taken me out. Could have taken me right out, man. <laughs> he blew himself up. That'll do. Let's get out of here before we get angry. They get angry. Everybody gets angry. So we're going to need a really good loadout. You know? If we want to deal with moons, suns, and that's terrible. Oh, gamble, you son of a bitch. I'll tell you what, though. Unlimited is really hard to refuse. It really is. Hmm. At the moment, we can just, you know. The problem is that's pretty slow. We could actually have multiple weapons. Oh, that gamble, though, could get us off to the best start we possibly want, you know. It could do. Give us an edit or... Immunities. It could... Ooh. It could also completely trash this room. Like, dominate it. Oh, that looks good. I don't... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna put all the triggers on there, you know? Uh, gamble, though, I mean... This is a scientific run, right? I'm not gonna do things just for the memes. I'm gonna do things properly the way it's meant to be done. <laughs> the way it's meant to be done. There is many ways of doing things. But uh I'm wondering how unlimited could help me in the long term. Um because I'm probably gonna have to kill Alchemist anyway to get the unlimited Greek spells. But gamble. Um, I'll tell you what, though. Shady Kiwi could be actually really good. I'm going to need various holes around the place. We now have one we can shoot whenever. I'm not a fan of revenge bullets by any means, but, hey, I mean, 20% resistance against explosions and projectiles. You return fire when hit by projectiles. That's cool with me. You see, we have no fish now. However, when I was starting new save files before, I was having one fish and a load of 
good people off stream when I was streaming before, you know, did a load of science along with me and we confirmed it was just like a save file. It's, we believe it happens because of the cloud, um, the steam cloud issues. Hmm. I mean, it wasn't the worst, it could have been a worse gamble. Ooh, none of those things I just picked up are going to impact me negatively in many ways. So. I'm sorry. Oh, it's back and forth, that's why. Hey, I'll fuck with it. Oh, we took bombs off. I'm an idiot. Although we do have still good digging, so. Now, if this hits anyone else, that's their fault. Uh, probably should have taken unlimited, but hey. Okay. Easy come, easy go. And revenge isn't going to hurt the run. In fact, it might save my life. Who knows? But here's the thing. There's certain things that we could have been forced to take with Gamble that could have ruined the entire run. You know, and we would have had to restart. Just the way it could have been. How much mana are we looking at? Oh, that's right. It's like a recharge thing. Boom. We'll just facilitate ourselves picking up building. Yeah, the 20% against projectiles, really good. I, I think when the sun hits you, it is technically projectile damage, or a form of projectile, um, even though it's just rays and beams of light coming at your face. Interesting. That's not really an interesting one, but I like looking at it and going, ooh, interesting. <laughs> That's how you make good content, and just go, hmm, interesting. Um, I know, because I do content, you know. It won't. <laughs> There's never, even though there can be a heart in there, there never is. Oh shit. Oh! Stings. It is a very burny place. Alright, I'm under fire, literally. <laughs> are all misplaced. Can you stop? I mean, you have the ability to chill, right? Why spawn a big man as soon as I approach? You need to chill for a while so I can kill. Another? Ah, it's another trash one, but it's done. And if we didn't deal in trash, well, <laughs> maybe it wouldn't be uh, making content. Anyway, old sack. And escape if we need it. Nice. Yeah, always make your escape routes. But a Sadie Kiwi as well from that gamble. Hey, maybe we need to make a big hole at some point. I don't know. I'm not displeased with it, though. You can leave Sadie Kiwi just lying around as well. I think you need to kick it to activate it so you can just throw it, I think. Come on, boys. I do love playing on YouTube as well, because on stream, we just play a different playlist, like a more varied playlist, because it's like, you know, between five, six hours a day of content. So we just play a more variety playlist. But when I play on YouTube, I've always got the, uh, you know, regular game music. Oh, that's HP right? No, it wasn't. It was trash on the floor. Ooh, handy. Get it paid. Oh, get some goodies. Video game. Goodies. Five points equals prizes. Yeah, get back involved, mate. Yeah. How's dude not dying? That's my question. Oh, I hit my old man. Oh, no. Oh, come on, dude. Hey, are we forgiven? Are we all good now? Fuck, oh, man. I need to be doing a good start. Yeah, that's beautiful. 
Can't be fucking around like this. Yeah, it's because the uh, energy orb has splash damage. So, of course, the splash will hurt the green blob, but the regular projectiles won't because it's not splash on those. Splash. I get to watch me have some fighting later on with the UFC fights. Not exactly what I'd call the best UFC card I've ever seen. Uh, it's like they put all the awkward motherfuckers in one basket, you know, and go on here, fight, today, you know, all together. Ooh, invisibilities. Like, apart from Kamara Usman, who's just, you know, man tank. I'm pretty charismatic dude. Everyone else is just, you know, Leon Edwards, you know, fighting against Houston. Just a bit of an awkward motherfucker, not in a bad way, you know, he's just, like a lot of us, have a little bit of social kind of, uh, what the fuck am I doing here, in your brain all the time, you know. Um, he probably has that, sounds like he does. Exploded there. Need to be watchful. Nah, there's no point pun puncturing through there. There's no profit in it. We need to survive so others may learn about how to throw stuff into the sun. And also, that gamble, right? Oh, buoyancy. We can steal everything, including the water. Ew. It means we can focus more on rerolls. We could be really quite projectile resistant. If we took slime blood, projectiles would be, you know, really fucking... Alright. But we do save money. We could go for the eggs. Um, in terms of that, what I mean is we could go for whatever the fuck we want to do. Game gonna tell me what to do. Let's steal. Now, we don't want to anger the gods. We Again... When we're messing with a cauldron, we don't really want to um, affect the world as much. Because again, as we said before, any specific thing could turn off the cauldron secret. We don't know, so we have to act like it does. So if I, I, might, I might have to kill Alchemist. But again, certain things I'm not going to be able to, you know... what I'd call punchier, but... But I say if I just had triggers on it. But how about this one, though? Like, trigger onto the water, onto rapid fire and things. It's a non-ship as well, so... Like, that isn't bad. Not at all. It is running out of mana, though, so it, the, I think the last one... Yeah. In fact, we can't. Right, so that's about 60 DPS, roughly. Ah, it's like an extra 3 damage overall. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. However, w with the teleport, we can start to, you know, make sure everything's chilled when it comes down to keeping at least one holy mountain intact. I don't think this will... I don't think this specific holy mountain will get corrupted and destroyed. Again, we could have a lot of projectile resistance if we took slime blood. It depends if we want to go to parallel worlds. I think we might be forced to go to parallel worlds to actually build two suns in the first place. We're going to need another Essence of Spirits for another Tanakivi. One of the hardest, like, apart from Poopstone, one of the hardest uh, stones to find. So, that might just be the way we have to do things. Hmm. And if we do go parallels, we might as well just, you know, 
sort ourselves out. But we do need immunities. The one thing I don't want to do is rack up the reroll too high too fast. So it would probably be better. Especially since, you know, I can't collect orbs for HP. We are a little bit compromised early on. When it comes down to the HP. And what's the biggest, most likely thing to dominate you over a course of a bio? It is projectiles. Also, it'll mean if I have slime blood and revenge bullets, it'll mean the sun hurts me less. So yeah, it's a good baseline, actually. It's a really good baseline to survive the sun. Uh, if we can get stainless, for instance, as well, or stack slime, what we're looking to do more than anything is to get a circle of bigger and to get heals that, you know, heal very fast. Because the center of the sun is a bit of a motherfucker. Yeah, we do not have that much HP, so getting shot even once is a big burden. Someone blew themselves up with pink explosives. Whoa! Who's shooting that? That's got piercing. Holy fuck, dude. I mean, that's, who's shooting that? Ah. Dickhead. Yeah, the concept of throwing two sons at each other is just... Yeah, it pleases me greatly in the first place, you know? Just to try something like that. I mean, we've thrown the regular sun at the moon. Uh, we've thrown the, <laughs> thrown the regular sun at the moon. No, we, ooh, we've thrown the regular sun at the regular cauldron. And that was satisfying. That was cathartic. But now, it's time to go super serious. With two suns. You know, when one sun doesn't work, come back after a while, throw two suns at it instead. Yeah, shots like the big blooper heesy are going to be a little bit easier to take. You bloody hope so. Well, and here's the thing, do I collect any orbs? I suppose my only mission is to, you know, one, bring the cauldron into a more public kind of position when it comes to the night community. So we can, you know, those who want to work with us can. Those who want to, you know, not give a fuck can do so. But first, we must, you know, get it out in the public's attention a bit more. Because raisins... But we do need tools. Getting an all-seeing eye... I mean, it'll help me see the cauldron, but... Whee! Ooh! I don't remember as well. Ooh, okay. I don't remember, right? When I threw the sun at the cauldron, I can't remember whether it was a void day or not. If it was a void day, yeah, definitely. Oh, Uko, whoa, Uko did a magic trick. Do you see that? He was there and now he's not. What a fantastic dude. I've got nothing but respect and love for Uko. He's such an you know, inspiration to everybody around. You know, a case of doing things the right way. Wow, mana straight away. Yeah, I don't need crystals. I wanted to keep that non-shuff one. Since we refused no more shuffle earlier on, I do need to you know, sort myself out. Sort my fucking life out and all that. We need healing and at some point. We're going to need that healing. Preferably Circle of Vigor. And then we can do whatever we want as soon as we've got the HP. We need Ambrosia as well. We need to do the Heart Mage trick. We can't really do a Sun Quest thing unless we get a shit on a parallel world in us. Um, what we could do without the Heart Mage. And the Heart Mage is a trick that is, you know, allows me to basically multiply my HP with Ambrosia and a Heart Mage. Um, but you could also just take a hell of a lot of traditional perk that helps you with that. Could. 
Whoa. Again, who is these cunts shooting? Yeah, oh, God, bro! Hero. Every, every single time. Doing heroic deeds. Oh, it's him. Doing heroic deeds. Fucking all the chicks, you know. Drinking all the beer. He's got everybody in. He's got a sparkling personality. Yeah, I'm just going to accept that. What? He killed himself. It was the ice, just in case you weren't paying attention. I wasn't either, but it was the only thing that could have... Whoa. The only thing that could have been... A thing that sort of done it. I kind of low-key like this one. It's just nice and... The way it shoots the beat of the wand, shall we say, you know? I'm often a fan of the beat of the wand. Rather than how it true oh shit, that propane went mission. Yeah, that's ice out the way I'm burning alive. I'm not exactly burning dead, so what I technically say is true. We need edit, by the way. You know, just casually. We could go kill Master. Master or Wizard Man. Oh, an extra damage at least. Um, this is all trash. This is really bad. Lucky, I like Lucky Legs, but they're not good for a run like this. Going to the moon with Lucky Legs sounds like a non-smart decision. Yeah, any extra damage. We need to survive in the short term, let alone the long term, you know, so. Right, what's my best ones? I'll tell you what, this with mana will allow me to, you know, build it really quite well. I wonder if it's going to be better just having one shot. It's slower. Oh, it's slower because of the mana. But luckily, we have a trigger so we can advance our cause there. With the extra mana, I might be able to get away with something like that. A bit more punch. Also, better digging and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll do. You know, multiplying our damage quite nicely. We won't be taking glass cannon if we find it. It's just not really good for the run. We can multiply our HP, but we'll never get enough to, you know, survive the sun. Um, that's annoying. Because, yes, I would love extra speed, but... I also want explosion immunity. That was a good reroll. Again, explosion immunity is one of those kind of no-brainer. You just must have. Unless you, you know, get thousands of HP. Like, if you already... If say you survive to the point where you got, like, 2,000 HP... And you've got, you know, a circle of vigor healing. You might not need to invest in the explosion immunity, but it's always nice because then you won't be knocked back by uh, well, by explosions. It's sometimes less about the actual damage you take and the impact of that damage. Like, if you get shot by a projectile, you get staggered. If you get exploded, you know. I'm not sure. I I'm pretty sure explosions can stagger you. I don't fully remember though. I should pay more attention. Just in life. Might be beneficial now and again. I do like this one though. Dude had no game as a HP level. What was that? I'm sure I saw something. Ah, oh, we can check. Oh, what can you see? In the cauldron video I'm doing as well, there's going to be some really interesting pieces of art in the game that you probably haven't seen before. Because they're really obscure. Um, also, hopefully they are, or we can agree on the fact that they are worth looking into 
support cauldron related uh, activities. Yeah, somewhere like this is where my slime blood and uh, revenge bullets will come in and help. Because if I go below 100 HP here, here, you know, it's a bit embarrassing. Ah, yeah, yeah. How am I gonna kill this dude if he doesn't want to die? Usually not how the whole dying thing works. It's not normally a voluntary process. Just need one medic. Change everything. Change our entire way of being. That's that sentry. Oh, yeah, I was about to say that sentry is perfectly lined up, man. It's abusive. Oof, oof. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll have to encroach upon this fool's life. Oh, it blew up. Nice. Can you see? Encroached. I did not expect to win that fight that soon. Fwaaa. Let's get the fire out of there. Whatever happens, just limit the amount of cunts coming my way. This HP as well. If I run out, I don't have more. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why always me? Oh, light shot. It's also not the worst one I've ever seen. Ain't that nice? You know, isn't that nice, the game? I might be able to get in here. I might just be able to cheese my way in there. Might not be able to cheese my way out though. Um, <laughs> we shall see. The real problem is I need that toxic mixed in a bit though. And I don't want to go in there and get burned. What I also need to do is to make sure my if I do teleport in there, that I can actually. Cheese it, mate. Cheese it. There you go. Cheese it. Again, the problem is you can technically... Oh, shit. Let's... This is where the empty potion was going to play in, you know? Empty potion so I can actually get some breathing room. Use these. Make sure my teleport gets a bit further in there because this will destroy this metal. So. Oh shit, how you doing, man? I'm just uh, your local uh, local suffering person. <laughs> I'm sure he bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. That's it. Oh, I saw it. Just, I don't know if that would have ever killed me, but. go to the shop. You know, I'm out looking to go to a corner shop and these guys looking to fuck me up. That is not community, mate. That's not a vibrant sense of community I've been looking for in my life. I expect to be able to go to the shop and not be ambushed with several people with TNT and shotguns and sentries. Murderous robotic sentries. Not what I'm about. Still need the Ambrosia. Still what I'm looking for. That's what I crave. What is it with the team that's coming at me? Yeah, we can take them down with impunity. You know, we can use our will. Oh, we can use our strong will alone. Oof. Now you might not want to be around for that one. <laughs> it's just, you know, a bit of a tip to the heat seat. Might not want to be able to. Oh, 
But there was no shot. That blood, man. What's a play on that? Ambrosia? Nah. Bonk. Now we do have invisibility. Shot now. Hold on, I've got no idea. Get below, get low. Yeah, get him in the conk. Let's move forward. He can't move now. You know, he's stuck there forever. Oh. He decided to end it all. I respect it. That's probably what I would have done in this situation. You see, a lot of you would die by now by... You see that money on the left-hand side that I let go and just didn't go for it? A lot of people would die, you know, trying to get that money. Because it wouldn't have been the actual money that would have killed you, right? Or going that way. It's the distraction of thinking about money in the first place, right? Oh, medical man. Love and respect your local medical man, sir. Interesting. Now, this is a place where the gods can get really angry. Ooh, regular loomy drill. I want to steal all that. Regular ghost. Hands on fire. Now, this looks like another reroll. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Metal? I don't know about about. But Lumi Drill, especially since we got a mana. I'll probably want to douse myself with water before I go floating around this place. be able to run the energy orb anymore, but we really need to care about that. Oh, we don't. Just in case you are actually waiting for the answer. Uh, I'll save the light shot, but I have no intent of actually using it at the moment. I think we just need a reroll. You know, we don't need it, but oh fuck. Kinda required. Yeah, as long as no, you know, dickheads are drilling into this biome, you know, as long as they're not drilling into. There's more worms in here than normal. <laughs> oh, evil eye. But yeah, having the Lumi drill on the end of this one now as well, you know, not only. If I get close range, cut a, cut a dude, you know? Also digging. So I am now official savage. Who needs a sun? I'm sorry, what the fuck was that? Did I do that? Was that me? Did I do it to myself? Yes. I just love getting beaten up like that. Oh, that bouncing rat dude, he was on it. He was a respectable one. Wow. Okay, that's a plus one round. Just need to dismantle it. Hello. 
Yeah, we'll get a lot of money if this is the way we're starting out with this one. Then. Did he die? Did he teleport away? Oh, right, let's see what happened there. They want to stay in here for long, but it's we don't have enough mana at the moment to run, you know, that. Ah. Huh. I'm not going to be able to make the other one run faster. I think it's firing as fast as it possibly can anyway. But I think we'll just do that, you know. <laughs> you know, for the moment. But what we're looking for is hearts. What we're specifically looking for... There's a red heart mage near HP. Oh, more mana. Wouldn't you know it? This is a really good song. I shouldn't have put all these drills on. <laughs> Makes it harder to actually get in and out because I uh, don't know exactly when I'm shooting at all the time. I uh, probably don't need that double, so... Uh, maybe I do. Oh, we yeah, we can... Technically limit DPS just by not having the trigger on. Um, hmm. I wonder if we could actually get away with Homan. Oh, we can we can get rid of lights. Maybe bring a drill onto it. What I need is a triple. You know, no oh, baby. Actually, um, I don't. I might bring the trigger back because then I can limit the amount of pain. single mana could do. Uh, where's that alternative dub? Oh, I'll tell you what, with the homing on it now, there is no homing. Uh, <laughs> with the homing on it now? It does run out, but it's going to kill people so fucking effectively. Short range homing is the bomb. I think we just go for space. I could put quite a few modifiers on that and get away with it. Like a light. Maybe even a light shot. Um, ah, light shot helps with accuracy. Great. Now with my beastie homie wand. Need to watch out though, because I'm looking for a red dude, right? And if my shots home in towards him, you kill people very fast. He, a red dude is a bit tank, but... One, we can't do it to begin with because we don't have Ambrosia. So it's more about setting up for the extra HP. We can also do it in parallel worlds. Um, relatively easy. Whew. Inundated. It's not actually the best one. So I'm going to look for another. Yeah, might as well get two at a time. Though. Yeah, my homing beam won the death, because again, I don't really need to pay attention to where I'm shooting. In all likelihood, because of my homing, they are dead. All because of me, what I'm doing. A nice feeling, you know, they can go fuck themselves. Oh shit, where is it? I need to hunt this worm down. I don't want angry gods. Also, we get more drink, man. Dude just wanted the wand, apparently.
Yeah, if I have vision here, how easy is it to find uh, what? Oh, for fuck's sake. It's not a bad thing because I can take take them out, you know? That's another one. Another day, another worm. But there's a few theories regarding the gods. I have a few of my own. When it comes down to cauldron science. Now where's me? Where's my good ship? Don't have the most amount of eye time. Yeah, this um, places like this are really odd as well. If you go through the game files, the, the way things are named can be really kind of eyebrow raising. Either in terms of secrets or just what the fuck? Why? You know? Yeah, I know the devs were finished, but still. Intriguing. I'm not sure I'll need two light shots. Accuracy? Um, of course. Can't sniff accuracy. It is a good thing. Uh, I'm not going to be dropping a one for it. Yeah, since I've got digging on my um, teleport wand, it actually makes it a hell of a lot easier to actually get anyone. I love this one. You know. <laughs> kind of right up my alley. Easy money. It pours water everywhere as well. You know, check that out. Pouring water everywhere. An acceptable amount of water as well. We're not drowning, you know. We're basically running around with a fire resistant one cell, you know. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? Alright, two mana? Two mana on a wand, we are blessed. Now, there is a conspiracy theory that I kind of sub- Like, you know how I said at the start of the run, we start with water, bombs, and sparkies, right? And you do- you start with that for every new save file. There is a theory that the alchemy in- new save files is easier. Normally the easier type of alchemy to pull off. And also we kind of speculate that the shit you get Woo! It's insane. Yeah, I just don't need that many drills. Don't need that many sparkies either. You know what? Because it's a non shuff I could keep the drills on there pretty satisfying. Just put this away. Yeah, I don't need the more mana for my um, shooty wand yet. But you know, all things come to their time. Where's me red dude? A question I ask quite a lot. Who's important to me, and hopefully to everybody, you know. Who requires your attention? You know, before he makes you lose half your HP to each shot. Yeah. yeah only for a period of time. But a period of time, uh, the multiplier. Man. How? <laughs> oh. I was about to say, how did I avoid getting shot? But then we got shot at the very last. It happens. I don't mind it. Makes you, you know, 
know you're alive. To get hit in the face with a bullet. <laughs> and not all instances in life will that be true. And of course. Oh, that was, there was two medics there, man. That would have been good business. Oh, that still is medic. Is he gonna die? No, he is not. Medical Mancy is fine. Oh, we're melling. It's going to be easier for me to go in the dark cave. Because in the dark cave, there could be an Ambrosia in there. There could be a Dukat. We can find those red mages I'm after in the dark cave as well. You know, I really want to go hunting. For the Ambrosia a little bit later on. Because that might be our big roadblock early on, finding Ambrosia, so we can do Ambrosia things. No! Oh, Medic Man, I'm sorry, you surprised me by coming up behind me. Sack of... Sand or something. It's a bomb. Purifying powder all over the place. Why would I need to purify my powder? I wonder if anyone's tried to purify part of their amulet of Yendor sample. Try and turn it into a non cheaty one. Yeah, this is my. You know, if you listen to modern, like jet aircraft that have, like, miniguns on top of them. They kind of sound like, you know, just... Kind of does sound like this, doesn't it? But just less beefy, I suppose. Now let's just get the levitation back. It's going to be a pretty bad Oh, that is a whiskey potion. Oh, it looked like Ambrosian. It really did. My hopes were high. I hate those things. Those little fucking blobs. Oh, yeah, we can just clear people out, though. That will... Dead, right? He must be. He might we shot. Must be dead. Hey, I'm looking for a good time, guys. You know where I call? You got any numbers? Now oh, that looks super. Oh, with the four mana, right? We'd have a hundred and twenty man. Well, technically, on that one, we'd have a hundred and sixty mana to play with. Would be really fast. We can definitely switch around this one and speculate on that. If we even get more mana with that, you know, then we could not only run the homing, but a trigger and a satisfactory trigger of that, you know. I don't want to piss around there too long because it is monumentally fucking dangerous in certain conditions. Ah, fuck. Air foot land. Let's go get our perks instead. Whiskey. That looks like an ambrosia. Oh, the dip. The bad dip. Luckily, not rippy dippy, but close. Close if bad. Trying to be smooth. Oh, look at all that pre prepared worm blood for me. Let's drink the fire, let's be all hardcore about it. 
Yeah, we're gonna need some of this for the vault as well. Perfect. Perfectly, you know, saturated. That's our like first heart we found it. Now, what we need to do, even if we don't have Ambrosia, we can set up for this. Although I haven't seen a red dude. Red dude has to be quite close. Or above or below. Otherwise, you just fell. You can actually, you know. Say home bring. Oh yeah, there were so many more worms in here, weren't there? Because of badass individuals. They're doing an old bio modifier thing. We could just dig to the next. Holy mountain. There's communism man, all dressed in red, you know. If he ain't around, he ain't revealed himself to me. If we got a home bringer, we could bring him in. thing is, I kind of like that HP now. We're not exactly, you know, having our cup runneth over. And if we did find a heart mage, there is the dragon heart. Yeah, 240 HP, I'm a little bit behind, right? However, I do have the perk protections for projectiles, so, and explosion immunity in melee, so the big hitters are down. Intriguing. Steen and Walt. What a position. What a life. He must be leading. Um. Wow. So this entire setup is obviously a lot less than 100 and blah. Huh. Wonder if we're firing double shots, basically. Because they always cast on it. You know what I mean? I wonder if we could actually... If we wrap it in the right way... I doubt we can have, like... Four mana wrapped. Doubling it all of it. I don't think it works like that. But if it works... Wow. We've got a triple. Oh, baby. Uh, I could just, you know, low-key put a drill at the end. I don't have a functional one. Is Steve back? Nope. Ominous sounds. The good thing, if Steve's stuck there, he won't die. I don't want him to die. That'd be terrible. There we go. It's not actually as good, but we can probably make this better. Oh, we can, yeah, we get shotguns. Shoot them on the end. And then put the shotgun on there. Yeah, perfect. Can't be fucked. Shotguns are just the best. Pin it against the wall. Yeah, if we don't need it, probably don't put it on. 
Because then we have more space. I probably don't need this double. Okay, we need that double. But the more things we get rid of, the more we can kind of you know, slyly put on. Well, at the moment, I could put light on. Oh, light. Um. Yeah. Water crit. I'll put water crit on. Yeah, I might as well. Runs out of mana now, but it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter if you run out of mana. As long as you can charge it quick, which it does. Oh, we might have been able to put Venomous on. Yeah, if we get rid of crit on what? Put the mana back on. Get rid of light. We could put Venomous on then. I probably need this, right? Yeah, we do. Hold on. No, 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 no. If I put the trip here... Oh, baby. That could solve everything. Yeah, it does. And then we get a free Venomous. Oh, no. Nah, that stings. So, the trigger, which is homing directly onto the enemy, will then release three damage plus, you know, and Venomous shotgun bolts into their face. Also, the Lumi allowing me to dig. It's pouring water. This is so multi-purpose. We can also dig around the world. Apart, we can't go parallel worlds with this one, but... Are you serious? We are going to need to be able to either breathe underwater. Ah, no, that's for the poop stone, right? Hey, that is the big sun, isn't it? We could just find freezing, though. And I am looking to, you know... Yeah, thanks. Oh, fuck you, game. You're a righteous cunt. You know that? We can just go get quarter of a million and be fine. And that will probably be our goal. Let's have a gambit. Oh, oh. Again, we don't have the most amount of money, so. Ooh, gambit. The brain. Now, I do believe the I'll be bringing this brain up. You know, I'll be bringing this brain up when it is relevant. Why is it cooking already, you know? Again, there's a few things about these brains that are a bit sus. I am very suspicious fellow when it comes to those brains. Now imagine if we can get the shotguns on top. Uh, homing. Need to make hay. Sorry. Do need to make hay while the sun shines. And we're not far immune. Although, again, all I need to do and remember to do is to shoot my wand. Oh, the brain is leaking. Oh no, what have we done? Not me, brain. No HP. Ruined. Um, there could be a... There could be a heart mage around. We'll go check below, primarily. Although, again, with this wand, I'll just kill him. But that's alright, you know, people get killed in this line of work. Occupational hazard. Plus HP to keep me alive. Good times. So, I think, when it came to the run we did before, when we threw the regular sun into the cauldron, I think it was on my second attempt, so, hey, you know, just because we fail doesn't mean we won't get back on that horse and try again. You know. But failure is a part of Noya, so... We don't pre-plan, even though, you know, we do really well sometimes in our runs. We don't pre-plan runs or anything like that in terms of, you know, choosing seeds to run, you know. 
planning what we're gonna get in terms of, you know, finding out what's on the seed. I don't give myself any extra information. We play as the game presents, for the most part. And I like that. Okay. I'm able to get up on my high horse, you know, and say, ah, oh, yes, I'm so fucking cool, man. <laughs> Let's go up here. Let's want this fucking pure. Pure fucking destruction. We do need to get paid, you know. Things expensive at the moment. Life, living life with inflation. Venomous. Well, I'm after more HP and more money, so. Can't remember how much the reroll was. Really expensive, though. It has been known to cost a pretty penny before. Imagine if it did have homing on the shotguns. Again, we're losing a lot of our DPS just to missing with the shotguns. But they're so numerous, it doesn't matter, of course. Imagine how much more effective it would be. If we got the other short range homing. It's a cash bonanza. Yeah, we're doing alright on HP. Not too shabby. Things just exploding in front of my very eyes. I know not what goes on. All I know is that things blow up. Now I live. I couldn't fly to the moon with this wand. I think it's got so much pushback because it's firing so fast. Ooh, the acid. Don't try and convince me, game. Running acid on this wand? I don't think it's a smart idea. But, you know. Uko, bro! Right, I see you, dude. Whoa. Ah, oh, it's slow. One point summit, summit seconds. Oh, that's heavy. Is it heavy? Because I'd already got down to quite a low HP. Or was it heavy because I actually took a lot of damage? I'm not sure. Not sure where it already was. Uh, not, even if I'm going to run out of uh, HP, I'm not going to run out of uh, money. Right, okay. Bloody hell, man. Double ambush from the boys. Just a little bit of rage there. A little bit of firing rage. Hey, we got lava to blood if we want it. Ooh, peace with gods. I don't need it. Right? I really don't need it. However, having gods angry at you I feel, you know, why would the gods reveal their secrets if they're angry at you? That's my feeling on it. All those saving grace, bro. We're gonna go parallel worlds. We're gonna have to power up if we're not being given edit. <laughs> that was a meeting of minds, wasn't it, man? Hey, we keep his theme music. Is he gonna battle with me now? Love the blood. Don't actually need. Oh no, we do need to go down to hell. You can't pick up ones. How incompetent are you, mate? I don't mean to pick on Steve. Just have. You follow me now. Follow me if you want to live or something. Live or something. It's all. Oh fuck me, Steve. I'm sorry. My homing got the better of me, and now he's all, you know, fucked up. 
and I'm pretty fucked up. My fact, he's fucked up. Set him free. Fighting for me. Nah, go, 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 go. You know, it's on you, mate. This is all you. You are the hero. Well, he had a good running, he had a good innings, you know. What? Fantastic. No worm blood anymore as well. Luckily, we do have a light on our wand. It's a small mercy, right? Yeah. I do like to see. Where's my Ambrosia for number one? Me and my HP. Need to be go doing things. Yeah. The most confident with this one, shall we say? Rapid killing technology is uh, exactly what we need. It's an extra max HP. I'm sorry, what? Oh, right, I see. No, I was like, that's a potion. What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> You're trying to, you know, pull a funny, funny one on your body. Now, well, that was some RPG special move shit there. <laughs> Summon the GF. Polymats. You shall not. You just, you just won't. Move. He thinks he will. He will. But apart from the lack of edit, a good run so far. All demands was indeed yeah, and all level are fucked up. More, more. Oh, it's not more. It's less. <laughs> I was on about more hearts and more big things coming my way. Yeah, because of the speed of this shot, it does seek and destroy. It's a short range homing, man. You can't knock it at all. It's very perfect. Oh shit, don't like doing that. Well, I'm glad that wasn't an Ambrosia. Um, just, just saying, quite convenient. Well, we might need to go kill Master. Luckily, we do have the wand set up to be able to do so. We have no Ambrosia, which is, of course, very superb against Master, but we don't need it. And um, I think Uko did his magic trick. Right? He went away. He did his Houdini trick. Houdini impression. Woo, let's just shift the wheel, uh, you know, just wee. But Steve is no longer here. Steve took a vacation. Amazing. And big HP. We could leave this HP until a lot later when we're ready to do. Once we've got a few parts mage things under our belt. We could also take the extra perk, because of parallel worlds and such. But this is going to be a long run, of course. So we'll be doing long run things. No fish, man. No fish. But we shall leave it at that. With no fish. Just chilling in me pool. But we shall continue this adventure, probably tomorrow. Um... 
at some point in the very near future, you know. <laughs> but thank you for taking the time to enjoy part one. I've been Supper of Let's Supper Together. If you like what we do here, we stream live at twitch.tv forward slash Let's Supper Together. Come and join us for some great interactive entertainment. And uh, yeah, come say hi. Say hello in the chat. And, hey, I should be there. Saying hi back. But you can always like and subscribe to this video as well. Or the channel in general. Follow what we do. Enjoy what we do. I'm always here, you know, ready and waiting to do more. Although there is never enough hours in the day to do truly what I want. <laughs> uh, hours, man. The real enemy. But I hope you've been well. I hope you're going to continue to do well. And I have belief and strength and, uh, you know, the fortitude to say that you will do great things. As long as you believe you will. Hey, I don't see why not, you know. Keep kicking ass, man. Keep grabbing, <laughs> grabbing life by the ponytails and face fucking that mother. Yeah. I don't wear ponytails for that reason. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Stay safe. I'll catch up with you in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Peace.